I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer laptop. This one is an Acer Nitro 5 or Nitro 5. The exact model for this one is an AN515-52. The model is an N17C1. And in this video I'm gonna go cover up uh, what to do when your laptop is overheating. Like this client brought his in and the issue is that it was running really hot. Even on idle it was hitting 80-90 Celsius. It was hitting 80, 90 Celsius. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna open it up and show you guys what happens when it starts overheating and what are you should do to prevent overheating on this one. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go over on a step-by-step -step how to open it up and how we can clean up, replace the CPU and see the reason of the overheating. I'm gonna cover up all the tools that I'll be using in this video so you guys can purchase yours. The links will be in my video description. Tool number one is a screwdriver set. I'm gonna be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of all the bits that you need and these are really good steel bit. You're gonna be using a Phillips number one. Also, you need a tweezers and opening tools. And for the opening tools, if you wanna grab the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. You will need a pair of tweezers and uh, some kind of spatula, like a plastic one, a wooden one, anything will do. You will need a thermal paste. A good thermal paste is really a must. Arctic MX4, I would recommend you guys. You can go with Thermal Grizzly, Pyrenoid, which is way a little more better. Um, and there's few other ones you can choose, but I like the Arctic MX4. You will need an alcohol, isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol, 90% plus or 99% plus. You will need a workshop towel. One sheet of the workshop towel is all you need, but you can use two or three. And with all this on hand, we're gonna get it started. First thing first, we wanna flip over the laptop. We are gonna remove the covers. So remove the screw on this cover, put it on side. All the screws are the same size. So I'm gonna put the screwdriver underneath and lift it up. You want to remove the RAM screws and again remove the cover. You just have to yank it up. All right, next we're going to remove the hard drive. By removing four screws that hold the caddy in place, those are really tiny screws. Go ahead and remove these four screws. There's one at each corner. Next, you wanna lift up the hard drive gently. Don't pull it back, because there's a little flex cable there. All you need to do is to detach this adapter from the hard drive. You wanna detach them, don't pull on the cable. So grab and put your hard drive to one side. Next, we're gonna remove all the screws at the bottom cover. Some models, they do come with a rubber legs in here on over the screw hole. So you wanna remove those with a tweezers, remove this, the rubbers in here, and sometimes they don't come with. So go ahead and remove all the screws, even the one in the middle, hidden one right by the grill, back, front end, and go ahead, so it's up from one corner. Also, if you guys find my videos helpful and helping you guys out through your own service and cleaning, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the commentary. I appreciate that. Once we remove all the screws, just double check, make sure you haven't missed any screws. What are we gonna do? We're gonna open up the laptop a little bit. And we're gonna grab our opening tool. And we're gonna stick it between the bottom cover and the powers, just like that. And all we need to do is just twist it and you wanna hear that big click. You wanna do that every two, three centimeters all around in the front end. Work yourself to the side. And you see, oh, I can already see the dust particles coming off the keyboard everywhere. So there we have it. Work on the right and left side. You want to hear this click sound, so don't worry about it. I'm missing about one or two centimeters inside the guitar pick. I'm not saying sticking the whole thing. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to lift up the bottom case. Wiggle it around and it should release the back end. 
Just need a little more weight laying around, push it towards the back, and there we have it. Holy moly. So there we have the issue. You see all this dust right in here? Everything is like a vacuum cleaner. So you need to take it outside, use a toothbrush, and clean up uh, with some uh, compressed air. All right, and down here we're going to see the whole fan is like a really dusty fans and the heat sink, the CPU, and the GPU right there. So what we're going to do, we're going to open it up and clean up and repaste. So before we do anything, we're just going to put two fingers at the back of the jack right here, and we're going to pull it back evenly, just like that. Next, we are going to use a tweezer to pull this jack backward to disconnect the cable, the connector, like that. I don't like yanking on the cables. So same thing for this fan connector right in there. Next, we're going to remove the screws for the fan. There's one, two, three, four, two on each fan. I can see lots of dust over here everywhere. We're gonna remove the six screws for the heat sink. These are tiny chrome screws. There we have. All right, next, all you need to do, we don't want to lift up from here, you want to lift up from the middle or from the back end. Just break that seal. And once you did, just pull it up and that's it. Now you want to bring it up this way. And you're going to see the old thermal paste, the thermal pads on the VRAMs. So don't worry about this one. You're going to, you can use them or you can replace them. These are 0.5 millimeter thermal pads. You can replace them with 0.5 millimeter, but the VRAMs don't really need cooling because they're not overclocked. And all you need to do is to clean up the heatsink and the GPU. And obviously the fan system. And we can just flip this one backward. And look at that. Look at that. That's something to look at it for a few minutes. Look at that. How thick is that dust right there? Look at, mm. look at that dust. Right Obviously, the, the air doesn't travel through here and is stuck, and it can't even handle idle because it's overclocked with the dust right in here. So we're going to take it outside, we're going to blow this air out with a compressed air, we're going to use a toothbrush, we're going to clean up everything with a toothbrush, even the fans, you can just brush it with a toothbrush, use a motherboard with a compressed air, I'll leave the link for a good compressed air in the video description, it's dry and it's really good, it's not good to use those can air, those are they throw lots of humidity and that's not good, you need to use a compressed air. Alright, I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, I took it outside and I cleaned up the fan system. Look at the difference between the clean fan and the way it was before. Now the air can actually travel nicely, clean up the fans. And now all we need to do is to clean up the thermal paste. So again, the bottom chassis is nice and cleaned. The marble, all the dust, everything is gone. You're gonna grab a little bit of alcohol and Workshop towel. You want to apply it on the CPU and the GPU to clean it. Now, all we need to do is to apply a little thermal paste on both sides, one drop on the GPU, put a fair amount, don't go uh, crazy on saving. Thermal paste, put nice amount, it's just gonna spread around. It's not gonna be bad or anything like that. So we're gonna put the heat sink over. If you change the thermal pads, you can change them with 0.5 millimeters, all of them. Um, but the one in the corner in here, this is a two millimeter thermal pad. This is the only one with the two millimeters. The rest can stay, they don't affect the performance. Now, we're gonna bring it down. You straight down and don't lift it up again. Put it right there. And tighten up the screws for the GPU and CPU. Always cross screw them. I'm gonna do one on the GPU on that corner and one on this side. The last thing here is to put the fan connector for this one. Fan connector. For the other one, you can lift up the fan a little bit to get more space. There's a very really tight space in here. 
plug that one in, put the fan on top, put the four screws for the fan to one each. And the last thing down here would be to just grab the power connector, the battery, and slide it in evenly and pinch it together right into the connector. And that should be all. Now all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, put this one down, grab the bottom cover, bring it over, slide the back end, the side, and you'll push it down. You want to hit those clicks on the side. Those are the clips that are getting connected. Grab the hard drive, gently, Make sure you don't push on the, pull on the connector, put it in. Put the those tiny four screws for the hard drive. For the caddy, caddy is the bracket that holds the hard drive in place. Grab the cover for the RAM. Put it right on top. Cover for the hard drive. Place it on top, on the sides, and then push it down. And the last thing for this video would be to just grab all the screws that you remove from the bottom cover and just put it on the bottom here. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video.